Injury-wise, Tajay Spears left with an ankle. We'll get more information on that, um, see where that's at, but uh, did not return. And other than that, that's it. Had a bunch of little things, but nothing uh, that nobody didn't return back from. So uh, kind of the same story as the last one. You know, we, we had a had a solid first half, and then we lose a turnover battle 2 nothing. We give up another block punt. Um, we haven't got a turnover yet on defense. And, uh, you know, we go 5-3 and outs on offense. That's on me. I can't let that happen. Uh, we were okay running the ball. Wasn't great, wasn't terrible. Um, you know, defense played well in the first half, and then when we needed a stop, we couldn't get one. That's partially on, on an offense for not sustaining many drives. So that was difficult to overcome. Um, I thought we played better than last week, I thought, but the mistakes were, were critical. And um, it, you lose two one-score games, and your, your turnover margin after two games is, is minus four, and you're going to have a hard time winning. So um, that's ultimately the name of the game is protecting the ball and getting it back for us to go score, and, and we're not doing a good enough job of it uh, as an entire team. I think the camera caught it pretty clear, um, if I had to guess. So, uh, yeah, I was upset. It was dumb. It was the same exact thing he did last week, and, and he cost us points in the red zone. Um, and that's that's is that is what it is. He's a grown up, and he knows better. And so, you know, I was really irritated that he cost us three points in a game that uh, we probably needed it. What was his answer to that question? What the f was he doing? Um, that's a good kill. Hell, you'll have to ask him what the answer was. He didn't have an answer in the moment. I think he was just mad, but. Uh, we tried to come back and rally. I mean, those things happen in football games, good things, bad things. Uh, I'll get mad at him. You know, he'll get mad at me, whatever. It's the way it goes. Uh, but, yeah, just just was really kind of an inexcusable mistake. How more frustrating to make it when you're a couple plays away from winning once again? How do you keep frustration from, from setting in? Uh, it's incredibly frustrating. But uh, at the end of the day, I, I think we have what it takes on our team uh, to win football games. Uh, we've been in position to win them, and we've made just enough mistakes to not. And. We clean up those mistakes, we protect the ball better, uh, we get the ball back on defense, and uh, we protect our punter, uh, we're going to have a chance. Um, we've had chances even with those things happening, and so imagine what it would look like if we could play uh, a cleaner game when it came to taking care of the football. So uh, I believe in our team, I believe in our guys, I believe in, in the way they work, I believe in what they're made of, um, and those things to me is, is it's going to come. It's going to come, and not to, we're not going to give up. It's week two, we've played not even close to our best football, and so we're going to keep going. Mm -hmm. How do you handle that? Like, what do you say to them? How do you go about trying to curb that from happening? Because it's back to back weeks. Yeah, uh, um, I think my tone and demeanor to him changed dramatically in that moment. Um, but yeah, we just we can't have it. He's got to protect our team better. He's got to protect the ball better. Um, and, and it's just it's inexcusable um, to do those types of things. That, that he throw, did it look like Burks might have been able to come down with it? And, and also, did you think it was a, it was a wise throw? Looked like maybe double coverage situation. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't mind the the aggressiveness of the throw. I mean, it, it hit him right right where you wanted to hit him. Um, as they were coming to the ground, the, the DB kind of got lucky as he rolled over the top of him, and the ball was sort of sitting right there. Um, would like to see us come down with that play. Um, I don't mind aggressiveness in, in the pass game down the field. Um, so I think it just ended up being a, a play that sort of bounced uh, the other way on us when I thought we had a shot for for a big completion. So. Um, I'm going to keep being aggressive down the field. I, I kept at it uh, throughout the entire game, and I kept trying to see if we could get um, some throws, and it helped us. The, the one to Calvin was, was a huge momentum shifter for us and gave us a chance. Um, and so there's, there's sometimes you got to be more aggressive than others, but I don't fault the, the decision on the throw there. What's going on with punt protection, and where's Colts coaching of that? Yeah, um, uh, yeah. It's, I, I, I just didn't see exactly how it happened. I just know it happened. It just came off the edge, and it looked like, uh, a, a lapse in a lapse in a release timing and, and technique, and so, look, it's it's inexcusable for us. We can't have that. we missed two games in a row to get a punt blocked. I don't know that I've been around a block punt in f six years, um, so to have it happen back to back is really frustrating. Um, but that's on all of us to fix that. That's on me to fix that. That's on Colt, and that's on everybody else to to make sure we're doing our jobs on special teams because as of now, it uh, hasn't been good enough all the way around. When you say release and technique. Do you think of those as physical errors or mental errors more so? Uh, that that one is hard to say at this point. I, I would I would refrain from comment until I watch it fully. You mentioned, you mentioned losing the momentum there a little bit. That you guys had the ball, I guess, twice when the score was tied. Did you, you know, anything you look back and say it should have been better in those two drives that were three and out? Yeah, I mean, there's there's plenty of things that, that I can do better and put us in a better spot. Um, one of the third downs, I thought we had a chance to get a runoff on a third and two to three. Uh, sometimes those things look really good, and I thought we had a shot, and you got strung out. We didn't get it. Um, but yeah, I, I got to do a better job. So there's really no, nothing more to say than that. You mentioned Sullivan earlier, big day with the two 
touchdowns. What did you see from him and like from that connection? That's it's growing. Um, we're doing a good job. He's doing a good job. I love everything Calvin's about. Um, still trying to continue to get more from that. I'm trying to get more from our pass game. I just think that we're we're not going to our capabilities right now. I think we're better than what we've shown in two games, but um, but I got to keep keep working to help fix that. So um, some good, some bad, but we need to be better. Plan to use DeAndre a little more today, or you know we didn't see a ton from him. I guess. He was out there a lot more, um, trying to find ways to get him the ball, and um, I need to do a better job of, of getting him involved. He only had I think one catch maybe. So um, those some times where he was open, ball went somewhere else. I can't control that all the time, and. Um, that's just playing receiver in the NFL. And so Calvin had a big day, and then hopefully Hop's day is coming sooner than later, too. So uh, he definitely played a lot more. He's ready to roll. Um, I appreciate the way he, he's attacked his return. So um, that part's been good. What did happen on the touchdown run for the Jets, the winning run that seemed to go untouched? Um, from where I was standing, it looks like we got edged out. Um, and they, they climbed up and cut us off is what it looked like. And um, we, didn't have a, we didn't have a hat in the hole. And um, that's what it looked like from the field level. Um, I couldn't see. I just knew there was a, it was a pretty big hole and a pretty well-blocked run for them. Um, that was, you know, that was that was that was tough. It looked like it was the right call. They got Jeffrey for the roughing QB. How tough a swing was that? You could go off the field and instead they scored a couple plays. Like yeah, those are those are critical. Those are those are the critical penalties. It's not just fault. I don't know that he could have controlled that very much. He was just trying to mirror hand uh, the quarterback and get his hand up, um, and then just the way it sort of came down. Those they're going to call it every time, whether you like it or not. Any contact to the head of the quarterback, I, you know. Uh, but they're explosive penalties, and it was a third and 15 where that, that kept their drive alive where we should have been off the field. So um, not much I can say about it other than that. I wish it didn't happen. In the second half, they started to spread it out, at times go empty. Mm -hmm. What was going on there to allow that to be so effective against the defense? Well, that's just he's, you know, I think it, I think it was effective to a point, and then I think we did a good job responding to it. Um, but, you know, you give a, a, a Hall of Fame quarterback He's at the line of scrimmage, and he's just picking his favorite plays versus whatever he sees. We did a good job of holding our disguise quite a bit, um, hence the, the handful of delay of game, almost delay of game timeouts they had to take uh, where he wasn't quite sure, and he was trying to check late. So that part was positive, but, um, you know, he's, he took some really easy completions. You know, we're trying to stay on top of some things, and he took the underneath routes that uh, gained them some yards. So um, I thought overall probably is an average performance against their empty sets, but, but they found some production in there, yeah. Guys, time in the rotation to yeah. go or, or yeah, that's the way I would see it. Um, you know, we, we we didn't do them any favors offensively at that point, going three and out, I think, back to back. And so they're on the field a lot. Um, if we do a better job on offense, those guys can play a little more. But I know they were playing a lot of snaps in a row and it was loading up. And so they're trying to rotate and keep them fresh for the end of the game. So um, that's probably what the case was there. Can you talk us through the design on that last fourth down? Did Tyler kind of get pushed off? Was he supposed to be on the goal? Yeah, we got to get. I mean, we got to get in the end zone. It's fourth down from the 14 yard line, and so you're trying to pry a window open um, underneath and, and give a chance to, to hit it. But we didn't quite get deep enough. And even if we caught it, which I th he did initially, uh, even if he caught it, you know, we're going to be short. So um, we got to be in the end zone. It's those details I think that that we, you know, aren't aren't, aren't good enough yet at. Um, and so those are the things that had we even caught it, it wouldn't have mattered either. So would have liked that one to be plus two in the end zone. You mentioned the, the kind of similar. Yeah, yeah, it's miserable to be honest. Um, you know, it's hard to it's, it's hard to overcome it when you're getting outscored like that. And, and we're we're putting ourselves in good position. We have opportunities, and, and we're not doing a good enough job um, capitalizing on when we have them. Um, and so ultimately, I think this, it's it's just disappointing. Um, not how I thought this start of the season would look. And uh, here we are. Have you been around a quarterback that makes plays like that in the game? Who will? Yeah, I mean, I thought uh, you talking about good plays or bad plays. The, the bad ones. Okay. Uh, I mean, I've seen guys make plenty of plays like that. You see it every week. You know, it's not like it's he's not alone in that regard. Um, but we just got to do a better job and keep coaching and, and protect the football better because uh, one score games and losing turnover turnover margins are, are going to send you to the losers column more often than not. And we just have to do a better job protecting the ball. You think he's trying to be a hero. I hope not. I don't. I've told him a, a, a million times at this point um, that you know you're one of eleven. Just do your part, and and that's all that really anybody's asking of you. And so um, some of that stuff you're trying to work out of him. Um, he did slide today, in case anybody cared about that. But um, 
no, he's just got to do a better job. And it's it's on me to keep coaching him. I got to do a better job. Something's not quite making sense because we keep having it happen. And um, that's ultimately on me. Say that first part again. How much confidence do you have in Levis? I got plenty of confidence in Will. Um, I believe in everything he's done so far. Um, and we just got to keep working to get better. And he's made some mistakes that are that are costly. And I think he's learning from them. It's a painful lesson. Um, and there's things that I'm learning about him that are helping me call the game better for him. And um, you know, we're just going to keep at it. And there's really nowhere else to go but keep fixing mistakes and, and trying to go win a football game. So that's ultimately where we're at. And I believe in Will and what he's capable of. And um, I thought his improvement this week was good. Obviously, the, the error aside, but there's been a lot of things he's gotten better at this week that, that I was happy with and pleased with. I'm not going to point to one play as to what lost the game, but obviously I can look internally as to what I can do better. And you're right, uh, it's something that I wanted to clean up that didn't get done this week. Um, disappointing for sure, and work my tail off to be better for my team this week. Not even just specifically that one individual play, but you had a punt blocked in this game. I'm just speaking on the team a little Yeah, just kind of weird. Uh, you know, Cali came in and said the same thing. It's like deja vu. Saw it twice in a row, shooting ourselves in the foot. Not going to win football games like that. We talk heavily about winning the turnover battle, and it's something we, we can't do right now. Is there something that continues to come up in your mind as far as like maybe trying to be a hero or trying to do too much in those situations, like when you toss the ball? I'd like to first say I didn't mean to say that we can't do that we haven't done, but uh, no, it's it's got to be something that's more second nature to me, and I'm going to do everything I can to rewire my brain to make sure that when I'm in those situations, I'm not making those decisions. And uh, I, I I think throughout my career I've gotten a lot better of not forcing things or at least forcing balls into windows, but that's a different kind of play. It's something that is not going to show up as much, but is obviously much more important because the ball is put in jeopardy and opportunity for the other team to get the ball. So i um, going to keep working to just be better for my team. Ryan, Ryan yelled at you as, you as you came off. What, what the F are you doing? What, what did you say in the moment? What would you say now? Just, uh, I, I, I don't remember what I said in the moment. I was understanding that this is um, disappointment, obviously, and uh, just had my mind focused on the next drive. but. Uh, what was the second part? Sorry. And what would you say to it now? Uh, just take the sack. What was the against the field, Will? You got the ball late and got in position to score. How maybe frustrating was you couldn't get an end zone down there? Yeah, it's it's frustrating. Um, great drive gets down there, and just, we'll look at it. I haven't watched the film, but I uh, just got to make something happen there. Um, four plays from whatever the eight. It's tough to score, but you gotta, you know, we gotta dial something up. I gotta make something happen. Um, probably, you know, throw that ball away on that sack and give us a better shot in the fourth down. But um, yeah, it's uh, something we gotta get better on. Just scoring touchdowns in the red zone and that area, we can, we can get better on. Did you feel like you were very close to a couple of long completions today? The one to, to trail and the one to Duffy and Pick and the one to Calvin. For sure. Uh, yeah, I thought I put some good balls uh, in the air on, on those two. And um, just trusting my guys. I know they're gonna I know they're gonna make those plays and just so happened that they didn't in those, but I'm still confident in them and I'm gonna keep testing them and um, letting them go up and, and make plays and just like Calvin did on that second one. So uh, I you know I still got faith in Traylon to be able to go up and make that play. The kid, uh, you know, cornerback made a great play on that on the pick, but um, yeah, just uh, gotta keep keep working on him, keep testing those deep balls. When you say you feel like you need to rewire your brain in some ways, how tough is that? Is that tough to swallow knowing that in the middle of season in your pro career you're kind of having to teach yourself new things, destroy old habits? Uh, yeah, it's tough, but I mean, it's it's everything's tough about this sport and this position, and uh, it's just something that might not have like crossed my brain in the off season. You know, when I'm preparing mentally, I'm more so focused on the playbook and you know, obviously watching film to see how guys are are playing and and develop and, and uh, running games. But uh, I just. I just I can't let that happen.